great. <laughs> an eater. I don't know if you can tell. Oh man, an eater, huh? He's an eater, yeah. <laughs> he loves yeah, I saw him on Facebook or something. He's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> I said, boy, that house is humming with love. <laughs> something. <laughs> so how you doing? The thing is, um, with the weather being kind of cloudy, um, kids are usually fussy. Um, so how's your kids holding up? Yeah, so that's interesting you said that. He's been very fussy today. Yeah, it, it affects them. Really? They why? cry, they moan. They just, they don't know why, but it's because of the weather. Huh. The cloudiness, the raininess, yeah. I was, that's so crazy you said that because I was thinking, like, is he coming down with something? But it's just no. been... And he seems no. okay. Like he seems like he's not it affects sick. adults too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I used to work for Children's Hospital, and we always knew, you know, we were in for a bad time if a few days were like cloudy and rainy. Oh, that's it's terrible. Crazy. Yeah, huh. Francine is listening in on on my phone. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Hi, Francine. Hi, Francine. Hi. We're all Good praying for you. The whole church, everybody. Everybody. Joint conference. <laughs> Everybody, you got hundreds, girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, start off with, um, you want to be able to get the prayer on the screen? We're going to start off with the Tolton prayer in just a moment. I'm going to get it on the screen. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, um, Brother Roy is in Canada, so yes. maybe he's not able to do it. Brother Roy is in Canada. I don't know if he's going to be able to join or not. And Diane is traveling as well. She's with her grand grandkids in Nashville, Tennessee. So today we at church we did the uh, Totem Prayer again. It was well received. Every book has the prayer in it now, thanks to Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. And so, um, yes, that's a blessing. And the banner was up today. Thank you, Father Lynn, for allowing us to switch it out. Okay. 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 You have to throw it. Okay, I'll do the prayer this time. Oh God, we give you thanks for your servant and priest, Father Augustus Toten, who labored among us in times of contradictions, times that were both beautiful and paradoxical. This ministry helped lay the foundation for a truly Catholic gathering in faith in our time. We stand in the shadow of his ministry. May his life continue to inspire and imbue us with that confidence and hope that will forge a new evangelization for the church we love. Father in heaven, Father Toten's suffering service sheds light upon our sorrows. We see them through the prism of your son's passion and death. If it be your will, O oh God, glorify your servant, Father Tolton, by granting the favor I now request through his intercession. So that all may know the goodness of this priest whose memory looms large in the church he loved. Complete what you have begun in us, that we might work for the fulfillment of your kingdom, not to us the glory, but the glory to, oh, to you, O oh God, through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are our God, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to um, do a little, within minutes, we're going to, we're going to talk about the minutes from last month a little bit, but we're going to move along pretty quickly, okay? So we attended the Eucharistic March. Um, we attended the Eucharistic March, as you know. You, as you know that the parish uh, choirs sang, as you know. As you know that we um, had our banner that uh, for Father Tolton and uh, Savino Rivera family they carried the banner for us, which was beautiful. And um, we also had a booth there and uh, we sold t-shirts and we used a black Catholic advisory board 
tablecloth because we did not have the totem tablecloth in yet. I just want to review that because I don't have the minutes from last month with me. Okay, so I just wanted to share that. Okay, so um, okay, let's go in here next. Okay, okay. so guys, I just want to pull you up to date that we're having a um. In front of me. We're gonna we're having a uh you have it. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, one second, guys. That's the front of the place. So so basically there's a few things that we're not gonna try and make it too long of a meeting. Uh but we've got some things coming up. Uh we wanted to do a review, a recap of our involvement with the uh joint conference, and then also we wanted to um plan for the um the uh, annual convocation that's taking place next Saturday. Uh, as you recall, or may recall, if you read the uh, materials, uh, each of the ambassador organizations was asked to do a presentation um, during the event and to also have two people present in person at the event. So, um, so we're gonna talk through that. And then, um, um, and there's another couple of activities maybe coming up. If we have time, we'll get to that. So maybe we can start by uh, reviewing the uh, the joint conference a little bit. So um, for those who were able to be present, we had uh, about 130 people, I think, in total, uh, give or take, who came from all over the country. And um, everybody, uh, everybody with one person got here okay. Uh, unfortunately, one of our priests had a stroke um, just as he was. Uh, leaving New Orleans, and so he's he's uh, doing okay, but he's paralyzed on one side, and so his name is Father Henry Davis. He's a Josephite, so I've been trying to keep him in prayer, but he's in good spirits, and he's just getting out of rehab uh, to go back home to recovering right now. Uh, but everybody else got here okay. Um, there's been a lot of stuff on social media. If you look at the Black Catholic Advisory Board website, uh, thanks to Wendy, and James, there's a lot of photos out there and links to different articles. Um, there's uh, one article in particular that has a lot of information about St. Augustine's because they we had the mass at St. Augustine's on the first day on Sunday. So, um, but the uh, the things that the Tolden's contributed to that I would speak to would be the uh, the money that we donated was very very helpful and, and it was enough for us to pay for the Linden Grill meal after the mass at the Basilica, as well as to help out with some of the, um, one, one of the breaks that they had where they had um, drinks for, uh, for people, you know. Coffee and yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah, not, not like drink drinks, but drinks. <laughs> um, so that was well received uh, by everybody. Um, and um, the, uh, we also had uh, a Tolton booth uh, at the event. Um, uh, Annie and I think Wendy also, Annie and Wendy, um, man, the book, were at the staff, the booth, um, and, um, sold some t-shirts and we had our, our new Tolton, um, table banner or table, table, cloth. table cloth that was there. Um, so we'll see if we can. It's pretty it's long. Big. So that's, I can't really see it too well, but. Yeah, you see that part? Now go back that way. Go back that way. Oh, they can't see it in the picture. Look at the picture. It says. Look at the picture. They can't see it. It says, Vero, it says, Vero, Reverend Augustus Tolton, First Louis Black Catholic Priest. Sir, t-shirt. And at the bottom, the same as the t-shirt. And then right here, it says, Tolton Ambassadors of Indiana. So this can cover a 10-foot table pretty well, or an 8-foot table. <laughs> Um, and, um, so that, uh, we had a presence at the conference, um, and some of the people, I don't know how many t-shirts were sold, but, uh, we did do that. Um, and, um, 
I think those are the main things in terms of Tolton for the joint conference. Oh, we received a hundred dollar donation today. Oh, we received a donation today from somebody to the Tolton ambassadors because of the things that they know that we've been doing. Um, and as was mentioned, we did the Tolton prayer at mass today uh, yeah. at St. Augustine's. So. All right. Anybody else have any thoughts or, or anything to add regarding joint conference? Yeah, I think that, um, uh, did anybody else get a chance to come to the mass at the Basilica? I couldn't see everybody who was there. Um, I know Father Lynn made it into one of the pictures in today's Catholic. <laughs> Tina, you were there. Okay. Thomas was there and Alfred and his wife were there. Okay. I don't know anybody else. Amini was there. Or her son was in it. Her son actually filmed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of our um, one of our Saint Augustine's parishioners, her son, was the little man who was uh, the young boy who was who was serving with uh, Archbishop Fob. Um, so uh, so we did have some uh, Saint Augustine's involvement in the mass as well. Um, I, I was wondering if anybody else was able to attend anything that was happening. I know uh, Wendy was there, Tina was there, Father Mario was there. Was there. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Tolton Ambassadors. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, if you didn't get a chance to, then uh, I would say look at some of the um, press that was that came out about it, and you can get a kind of a sense of it. But it really was a historic event to have that happening at Notre Dame in South Bend. Um, you won't ever see anything like that happening anytime soon. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, we could get lucky, but uh, and really we're. It was something where if we had tried to do this same event next year, we wouldn't have fit. It would have been too many people. We just fit. We had just enough space in the, at the parish, at the, uh, in, yes. at the Morris Inn. If we, if we were any bigger, it wouldn't have worked. So it was just right. So, but, um, but yeah, it was, I think we're, we did good to, to be involved in it. And um We'll uh, we'll see what could have dividends come our way as a result. All right. Um, Only thing so I would add is I'd like to really give um, some accolades to Brother Roy, the way he rallied with transportation, getting the Holy the Holy Cross brothers mm -hmm. could not have done, and that was a courtesy that we did. It was it showed good you know, stewardship and welcoming to our guests. But without Brother Roy's work with the van, with the chairlift, and then the, the mini bus that he got, we, we couldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say Brother Roy and Wendy. I was going to say, I would say <laughs> and Wendy. Um, I, I just did whatever Brother Roy told me. The yeah. transportation, I'm telling you. It yeah. Was that was also very, very well received. Yes. Um, the, the people... Um, they appreciated it quite a bit and um, it did make a difference. So thank you all to anybody who was involved, but especially Brother Roy and Wendy. And I would say also uh, they, they uh, the Holy Cross brothers said that they're not charging us for anything. So um, and we, we, we told them that we would try and do something, but they said, no, we weren't expecting anything and you don't need to give us anything. So and we, did, to hold the cross. and we did receive this letter. Dear Annie, on behalf of the McGrath Institute for Church Life, a co-sponsor for the joint conference and then entries participating in the joint conference at Notre Dame, July 24, 28, 22. I thank you for the generous gift, $2,000 from the Totem Society to sponsor the joint conference events. We know this event will be even more meaningful to participants after multiple postponements due to the pandemic. Your support and prayers are much appreciated. So we received that from the from the uh, McGrath Institute McGrath for Church Institute Life. For Church yeah. Life. They've been one of our our main co-sponsors for the event. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. So so kudos to everybody. Um, everybody had a role because everybody helped us raise that two thousand dollars, and everybody, you know, uh, helped us talk through some of the planning, and um, and even if you weren't physically present, you were involved. Um, I think for those who were who got involved, were able to attend some of the things. I think um, 
it was easier for folks to see why it was difficult for me to actually explain what was happening <laughs> because it was so much happening. And um, so if you if you saw it, it made sense. But if you didn't get a chance to see it, you're probably still confused. <laughs> yeah. But it came together nicely. So. All right. So um, anything else on the conference? <coughs> well, there is things that um, I did. I did pay the fifty dollar check for the booth uh, rental. I did do that. Uh, the tablecloth. I received the bill for the tablecloth. So. Um, Tina, I guess I'll use the charge card if they'll accept that and pay it. If not, I'll have you send them a check. I'll talk to them tomorrow and let you know. Uh, that was the, I was, um, I, have in front of me. I think it was $300 for that because they FedExed it to us overnight so that we can get it in time to put it up for the conference. <clears throat> um, also, they told me that the banner is ready. Um, I need to get in touch from with Fast them signs. from Fast Signs. The tablecloth came from Paula Sowers. Uh, that was FedEx to us. The banner um, didn't get to us fast enough, but it is done. And I, I'll call them tomorrow and see get the price on that. Have you made any deposits? Up. How much? Um, how how many T-shirts did we sell? No, I didn't have to get the book straight. <laughs> I didn't make any deposits. Right now, I can. We're just coming up for air. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we're even meeting, hello. <laughs> but uh, to answer your question, I should be depositing uh, two, three. I should be depositing three hundred dollars. Um, hopefully tomorrow, and then um, I will. Uh, like I said, I'll talk to you about either sending a check or how to pay for the banner and a tablecloth. That I don't know yet. All right. So let's move on to the Tilton conversation. So, um, plus what I collected today for t shirts, I sold a couple t shirts today too. Okay. That doesn't mean anything, but. Okay. All right. So, the annual convocation will be taking place Saturday, August the 13th from um, uh, check in registration at 9 30, uh, the opening prayer and roll call at 10. Um, and it will conclude at with a closing prayer at 1.30. So it's going from essentially 10 o'clock until 1.30, Chicago time. Okay. So um, that's what 10.30 our time to about 2.30. Uh, I Did everybody get a copy of the agenda? You should all be on the mailing list from Alexander, um, his name, Alex Taylor. Did anybody, everybody get that? Yes, I received it, but she sent a PDF. So you cannot copy and paste to register. You mm. can't click on it. You can't copy and paste it because it's a PDF. But she sent us something once before that actually has the link. So I just went back and found it. So if anybody needs the link, I can give it to you. But you can't. And it's a long link. Oh yeah, I remember from the last time it was. It's because it's a it's an evite e, e bright evite event whatever. It's a e really bright. long right. So I mean, because I've read registered just now, so I have it. If anybody needs it, and what's the cost? It was twenty dollars okay. a person. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and um. This is uh, something that happens every year. They they do want all Toten ambassadors to attend. It's the opportunity to gather with other Toten ambassadors from around the country. And they made the decision. Initially, they were going to do it in person, but they made the decision um, a couple of months ago to just do it with um, uh, with Zoom. I'm sorry, Zoom, but they wanted two people to attend. Um, and uh, so the agenda, I'll just read through it quickly. Um, would be after the roll call at 10, then there's a, a remark from Bishop Perry, um, introduction of a speaker, and the guest speaker is named John Tomei or Thome, T-H-O-M-E. Is that T-H-O-M-E or is it Thorne? I think it's Tom. Okay. Yeah, T-H-O-M-E. I don't, 
I don't really know who that is, but um, they're going to be presenting for about an hour um, and they're going to have small group breakouts as well. Then there's lunch from 1130 till about noon. And then there'll be updates on the cause for canonization. At, like, remember, these are an hour different. So one o'clock for us. Uh, lunch from 11 from 12:30 until noon until one, and then at one o'clock updates. I assume from Bishop Perry about the cause of canonization, um, and then updates from the Ambassador General at um, um, uh, as well, and then um, the committee reports at 1:15. Now this is where we're being asked to present the committee reports. We were supposed to put together some educational materials about Tolton. OK, uh, a, a packet of information. Um, and if you remember, we asked the education committee to start the lead on that. So um, do we remember who was on the education committee and did anybody get a chance to work on it? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, on the ed- I'm on the education committee and no, I've done nothing because I was driving people around at three yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we feel you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I think the general sentiment was that after we get done with joint conference, we'll take a look at this thing and see what we can do. Yeah. Um, uh, so the committee reports start at one fifteen our time and go till about, um, I guess about two thirty their time. So I don't think they're taking they're expecting a lot of time to be put into those. I'm thinking probably about. 10 minutes, 15, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes on the presentation. Uh, the other committees would be, there's a finance committee, there's a grant writing committee. It's a, in the, uh, the grant writing, writing committee is Detroit. The communications committee is Atlanta. The benevolence committee is Louisiana, wherever that is. Um, Book of customs committee, um, somebody will do that. Education committee is South Bend. Spirituality Committee is D.C., the Tolton Spirituality Center in Chicago. There's an election committee, and then there's a tech committee, and there's an ad hoc committee from Philadelphia. I don't know what that is. Um, so um, so basically, there's, there's, there's three parts of this that we need to kind of get a, uh, our hands on today. One is if you are able to register and attend any part of that, we want folks to register, okay? This is the annual gathering as best we can. We want to have representation. Um, And hopefully, if you don't have the link, Wendy can send it so that we can register. The second thing is we need to have a presentation and we need to have folks who can present it. Um, So um, is, Deacon so Miller so, so, will not be there. I'm getting to that. Okay, get All it right. out. Get it out. No, I'm going to do it later. Okay. okay. All right. Um, <laughs> All right. I messed up and I committed to. I didn't mess up. I did mess up. Um, I was asked to be part of something that's happening with the diocese with our deacon formation class. So people are going to be uh, doing some things, practicing homilies, and I said that I would help out. Uh, then. And I, I wound up signing up for it, and it's, it's all day, but it's the same day. So um, I'm going to be in, um, I guess, what is that, Warsaw? Just tell uh, me what you've been doing. Yeah. yeah, it's in Warsaw, but Annie, you know, no, almost no wives go to those now. Wendy, Wendy um, when we went, they all went. So I'm going. not, not right. We did, but almost no wives are going to oh. hear the same homily twelve times. I'm just okay. telling you, there might be two wives there. Yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. I have okay. personal reasons for going. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Annie's been Annie here. Um, let's do the meeting. Okay. All right. So basically, um, we need somebody to do the education presentation. And um, we were initially planning on being the two. Uh, or either us or Francine to go to Chicago to be part of that. Um, Cause we figured that we know that Wendy and James are going to be a class and we know that uh, folks have kids and there are all the things going on. But since um, I'm not going to be able to do it. And then Francine is obviously dealing with health issues. 
then we, um, I don't know if anybody else can commit to going to Chicago, but if folks can do the presentation through Zoom, that's another way to do it. So we just need somebody to, the, the, the committee can come up with what the presentation would be, and then somebody would offer the presentation um, about here are some ways that you can come to come have some education materials for Tolton. So, um, so my question would be, my question is, who would like to be part of the committee that puts that together? And then who would like to volunteer to do the presentation? Who is on the committee in the first place? Are we asking them? They can hear you anyway. Oh, does anybody remember <laughs> who was on the committee in the, in the beginning? Without us looking back on, um, I mean, I could go back and look, but it was me and Savino. Yeah, I was going to say it was me and uh, Wendy. And it was Diane. Wasn't she a teacher? Oh, yeah, Diane. yeah. Okay, okay. And somebody else, but I don't remember who. Okay. I'd have been me. I also am fuzzy. Okay, that's good enough. Alexis, you're hired. All right, so uh, <laughs> Savino too. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't mind helping because, like, I always explain why we why we name our son Augustus, especially to a lot of folks who are like, why did you name your son Augustus? And I have to go through the whole spiel. So, <laughs> okay, would you all feel comfortable putting together an idea of some of the things that can go into an educational packet to, to teach people about Tolden? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Are you a couple clarifying questions? Um, uh, education for adults, education for kids, education for both. Um, let me see if I can find the actual ask. All right, I'll have to, I'll dig through that a bit and see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. I got it. Okay. Okay. Purpose, to create materials and an information packet for the purpose of recruitment and sharing information to other areas of the country. I don't know if that answers your question, but. It sounds to me that it would be for other Tolton ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, okay, that was just my question. I don't mind helping. All right. Um, and I'm I'm trying to think if we when we did the uh, well we'll we know that we've got certain things that we would obviously put in that um, the um, the bylaws for the Tolton ambassadors uh, you know things like that that everybody needs to know um, but then also Tolton prayer cards something about the story of Father Tolton. Um, I think that uh, we had used the video of Annie talking about Father Tolton's journey and his, his uh, life, but there may be a, a, a brochure or a flyer or something that, or um, a video that people can go to. So, or the book, you know, the Tolton book. So maybe that would be a starting point for things that people might be able to use. Um, I would also say that 
send them to the website because a lot of that stuff is there already. That's true too. Yeah. yeah Steve, Steve from church told me he watched the video today from Father Tolton, or oh, yesterday about Father Tolton. Yeah. So he wanted to know more. I mean, anybody else, any, anything else you'd like to throw in there as, as a suggestion? If you're presenting, uh, educating people about Father Tolton who are new to the Tolton ambassadors, what sort of things would you include? Um, just quickly, it looked like from the charge that the idea is to recruit other ambassadors across the country, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be not just like telling this Tolton story, but also why get involved, why volunteer, you know, making the case for forming committees and volunteering your time. Um Maybe they should have a told ambassador's brochure. Yeah, is there something like that? There probably is something, right, on some of those websites. There's information on them, but I don't think anybody has something in paper. Well, they want print. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. It's not clear. I like the idea of leveraging the website, pointing people to the website, maybe even just leveraging that as a point of conversation, pointing to the website, talk them through it. It makes it simple from the standpoint of having to do a presentation, but it also, um, you know, just, just focuses people on, on direct information that can be useful. Another thing might be to, to tell them ideas of things that they can do. Mm. Like, you know, we pray that Rose rededicated to Father Tolton. Okay, and I can share with Alexis the actual, you know, with the reflections about Father, oh, yeah, nice. Father Tolton, um, the novena. Um, I don't know, maybe we could give them a picture of the banner. They could have a banner that they could hang in their in their church. You know, mm -hmm. so what what is it that they could do? Yeah. So some activities. I don't, know, I don't know if we want to talk about the fundraiser because I don't want somebody to steal that. <laughs> you know, the um, you know, the Mardi Gras, the um the what was that that we did? The rap, that not rap auction that we did. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, but you know, sometimes you just don't know where to get started. Question, question that I have. Um it, is there a process? in terms of things we need to do in terms of supporting the cause. And the reason I'm asking this is very specifically, uh, all of the candidates for deacon, permanent deacon, um, did a novena for one of our brothers for, uh, uh, for his health. Uh, and we did a, a, a Father Tolton novena for his health and in and, and support of that. But the question becomes, it's like, uh, is there a process for doing something and then capturing how it was done? And if something happens, if there is a miracle, to be able to make sure that it's going to be recorded in the proper way. Yeah. Yeah. Like this morning, Neil asked the church if they had a miracle to happen to let Rome know. He did say that today. Oh, that's not so we can let Rome know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let us know something that wrong though. So yes. if, if there's a formal process, we might want to be able to help people understand what that would be. It might be on the website. It, not I, our website, their website, Chicago's website. Um, I think that there's something where it says that you can um it does a contact, like contact Bishop Perry kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is what it's not a very specific. That is what you really should do. If if there's a miracle that comes up, or you think there's a miracle, it should go to Bishop Perry, because they are the ones that are pushing the cause, and they would look at it first, decide whether to submit it to Rome or not. Okay. Right. And they call up the Pope. You're not going to get him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that we would give it to the Rome. We would give it to. Bishop Perry, uh, <laughs> and he would take it from there. So thank you, um, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's just a clarification. 
Because what yeah. you did say was send it to the Pope. So. <laughs> yeah. I just cut out. I just cut out the details. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds like a good start. Then, do they have a deadline to get it together? I, th I think one of the best things that was done was that play. Now, I don't know what kind of access uh, the group has to that because since it was a, I mean, if that's on YouTube somewhere where people can look at it. Yeah, they can still order that. Play. They can still uh, book the play. It's St. Luke Productions. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah. I mean, if, if they could look at it on, on YouTube or somewhere. Or, oh, to see it, to play? The, the, yeah. You know, yeah. as an education thing rather than tr bringing it in. And once you see it, then you might want to bring it into an in, in area, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I talked with uh, the deacon out of Atlanta, and they're working. They were asking me all the information. They got all the information they could get from me because they wanted to bring the play there. I was surprised they had not seen it yet. Well, there is um, a movie that's coming out uh, on Father Tolton. There, they've just got the beginning of it done right now, and they've been filming it. I think in Atlanta or Savannah or somewhere in that area. Um, it's not. It's not. There is a trailer or that they've been showing. Um, a little brief trailer, but it's not like the whole the whole movie's not done yet. But maybe in time, that would be something besides the play um, that could be done. So anyway, so that's a, that's a great starting point, everybody. So um, so um, Sabino, Wendy, Alexis, um, anybody else want to work on that? I had good ideas, but she got the baby. Uh, Nora, did you want to jump in? Because maybe with the website, uh, maybe you could be helpful to kind of help them work through yeah, it. Or? Of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's our committee. All right. And then um, if you all can figure out who might actually then present it, then that'd be great. Can it be done on Zoom? We'll present it on Zoom. Okay. Okay. Do I have to go in person? You know they can hear you, right? Oh. <laughs> She keeps wanting to have side. I've been telling her she keeps trying to have side conversations. They can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, the camera is really good. <laughs> All right, um, I, I I think those are the main things that we had um, as far as like so we the joint conference recap the uh, the Tolden banner and um, tablecloth and then the uh, ambassador convocation. Just show of hands, uh, who might be able to do the convocation? What <laughs> is it again? Can you remind me? It's uh, Saturday, next Saturday. Not not tomorrow, a week from, wait, not yesterday. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> would have been nice if tomorrow's Saturday. Um, I have no idea what day it is or what time it is. Um, but uh, next Saturday, starting... Uh, Officially, 10.30 is registration, but I think that's for like the in-person people. And then the welcome would be at uh, at uh, uh, 11 o'clock our time. Okay. 10 a.m. Chicago time. And then the whole thing should be done by 2, 2.30. Sorry, 2.30. Um, could you send, Wendy, could you send a link to Francine? She want to register. I I thought I sent it to everybody that was on the email. Okay, she sent it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'll look for it. Okay. Francine has two emails, though. Oh, Francine, um, Francine's email has to be, I think it's the, is it the Gmail one, not the Comcast one? Okay, I'll check and make sure Francine gets it. Okay. She said it's the Comcast, or if it is. be on the safe side, do both. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Gmail or okay. Um, so so one last thing, just to kind of put on your radar. So we had a con we've been having conversations with um, a couple of folks in, who are in our parish, but they're also at Notre Dame. So uh, uh, Larissa Harrington, who's a graduate student at Notre Dame, and Annie. Sister Annie. I, I can't remember Sister Annie's last name. Um, but she's um, um, she just made her first uh, vows, and she's uh, working with the Medieval Institute at Notre Dame. So the Medieval Institute, there's somebody there who's been working on pilgrimages, 
And uh, so they, the two of them have been having conversations with different people at Notre Dame because they want to have a pilgrimage um, from Notre Dame to St. Augustine's Parish. Mm. And uh, so it's approximately three miles. And they just, this, this somebody, I think his name is Peterson. Um, I can't remember the first name, but last name is Peterson. But he's kind of into pilgrimages and he's, he's, he's been doing some other pilgrimages in the area. And he wanted to do something that kind of related more to the African-American experience. Um, so, uh, so that's how this whole thing got started. And as part of that, they, they were they were, they were thinking about having maybe uh, three or four sessions in the spring. So beginning maybe in January and then something in January, February, March, uh, and then in April, like maybe like April first, have a um, Tolton pilgrimage um, in Chicago. So I was telling them that we had done two Tolton pilgrimages already: one in Chicago and one in 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 um, Brush Creek and um, um, Quincy, Illinois. Um, so we had some idea of some of the things that could be done with that. So we've been talking through that, but uh, now that they're aware of what the Tolton Society and ambassadors have done or are doing, uh, would like to get us involved in that in some way. Uh, so right now it's still kind of in the planning stages. They're raising, they're, they're getting funds, uh, grants from different folks on campus. And the idea is that it would be something that would kick off maybe in January. So maybe in January, they would do something to talk about pilgrimages in general. And then in February, they would talk about, um, um, I don't know, maybe um, something about Tolton or something. And then um, March, something else. And in April, they would actually have a pilgrimage in Chicago. So that would involve getting a bus and going out there. And they were talking about two or three buses. And we thought, well, that'd be nice, but that's, that's a lot of people for a pilgrimage. <laughs> so, um, so we kind of suggested maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of buses at best, uh, no more than that. So it's manageable. So anyway, we'll, we'll see where it goes, but, um, um, but it's something that will be kind of the main thrust of the planning will be on Notre Dame. And then we'll be involved once it kind of gets rolling. So we'll talk more about it later. We basically um, wanted them to know that they can do all the legwork. We've done this before. We'll be there to help them through it. But we didn't want to take the brunt of it, you know, all the work of it. Um, yeah. So and then if they do the funding, all we have to do is kind of hop on the bus and go along and help out, you know. So that's where we're at. And keep in mind that March is one of our busiest months because of Mardi Gras. And so- um, February or March. February or March, yeah. So we have to, you know, fit, get in where we fit in, you know. So we, we want to commit to the fact that you're bringing Tolton to, to St. Augustine's, we are Tolton. So therefore we should be involved. At the same time, you know, we can only do so much. Yeah. So the April 1st date, I think is a Saturday, which is of course, Father Tolton's birthday. And then the pilgrimage um, from Notre Dame to St. Augustine's, they were talking about something like April 22nd or somewhere around that, whatever date that would be. With the, um, with the meal. Because Easter is in between the first and whenever they are doing something. So we'd have to, they're, they're planning on involving a lot of Notre Dame students. So what's so that date again? Um, April 22nd, you know. Okay. I don't know what day. I imagine that's a Saturday. And they're plan also planning a meal that day too. So and that maybe once they get to the to the St. Augustine's, we could have a meal or something like that, uh, depending on how many people we're talking. But again, this is all like we talked to them today about it. So Father Lynn probably doesn't even aware of any of this yet. <laughs> so we have oh, to get his blessing. It won't be any cost. To, it won't be any cost to us. Yeah. Don't hear. Don't hear a word. Haven't heard a word about this at all. Okay. All right. Well, I think for food, they could stop by Frankie's and get themselves a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they'll pay for that. They're getting funding for all that. We're just housing them. Um, when, you talk, when you talk about a pilgrimage, what are you talking about? They're walking from Notre Dame to? Yeah. Three miles. Uh, yeah. Walking. Uh, are they taking uh, a boat? What are they doing? No, the, the pilgrimage would involve walking. Walking and praying and singing 
and and they they want to kind of intentionally go through uh, some of the uh, communities along the way that our Notre Dame students aren't used to. Um, so um, uh, so they can they can get a better sense of being immersed in South Bend's uh, neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I told them about the landmark historical sites that we already have in place. Another thing on that is I just had a note from them. They're replacing all the signs. Good. Oh, good. Good. They're, They're all faded. faded. They're all faded. Yeah, good. Good. All right. Very good. Um, I will. Let's see. Oh, and then another thing. Uh, Tina, I apologize. Really, the banner and the tablecloth, I would direct that to Father Lynn because that will be the Totem money, not the ambassador's money. The Totem Society money. The Totem Society's money, not the ambassador's money on the banner and the tablecloth. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. You, you, you also realize what the we Tolton, have means. We have means. Tolton, <laughs> what the Tolton Society. Oh, let me finish. That we have we have the picnic coming up, and the Tolton Society usually has somebody to put oh, yeah. on a, the awards. Yeah. And we all we also I, I have to. I have to honor the calendars. And I don't know if we're still pushing Tolton Society or what we're pushing. <laughs> and I needed to know it right away. I, know I like that pushing. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, we'll, we'll let you know. Um, well, when do we want to, when do we, how do we want to do the awards? Because we'll that is in a couple of weeks. Well, it'll so, be Tolton Ambassadors then. But I mean, that, how do we want to, what process you want to use? We'll have to we'll have to go with with the the, the new money on this on, with the new account for Santa for ambassadors. Not the money. The Be talking source. about the people who you want to who you want do uh, to nominate. So oh, I got you. Oh, thank that. you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll do that this week. We'll get back with you by uh, takes about ten days, Father, to make the plaque. Uh, not necessarily, but about that would be good. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll send a note out to everybody, and then we'll get back with you soon. The picnic is what the twenty sixth, twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty eighth. Oh, days. Okay. All right. That's so the feast, the feast day of Saint Augustine, also. Yeah, yes, it's yes. the actual date. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that means by the eighteenth, um, we want to have. Well, actually, uh, we'll probably go with probably like that. 10 days from that Friday okay. because business days. Okay. So 16, 15, 16, really by next week, by next okay. Friday. Yeah, that's what I said. I'll select. send a note out this week. So, but still though, we'll make the work and the calendar's totally a message, right? They say. <laughs> so moving forward, we'll make the calendars and, and the um, awards total ambassadors of Indiana. Well, if that's what you want to do. But, well, I, mean, I was kind of asking them, but yeah. they- <laughs> so we're do the yeah, well, what, what I'm saying, the award is someone in the parish. It's you know, so like Wendy and James and Alex are not in the parish. Who's Alex? Alexis. Alexis. Yeah. So the oh. question would be: uh, Do you want it? Uh, it's always been a Saint Augustine's. Do you want to expand it? Do you want to keep it a Saint Augustine's? Well, total members aren't usually on the plaque anyway. That's true, you, too. You should probably keep it the way you have it because, I mean, it's kind of rooted in your parish. Okay. And so if you keep changing everything, you might start to confuse your parish. That's Too late. my opinion. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your opinion, Wendy. <laughs> Okay, we'll work it out. We'll, I'll send out something, everybody, and we could talk about it and well, get it to Father Lynn. Send something out Let's my, send something. by Monday. Yes, Lex. I, um, I just want to know what this is. Okay. <laughs> it is an award for um, rec- recognizing a person or an organization um, at St. Augustine's Parish uh, for their outstanding service uh, to the parish. Uh, community, and church? It's going to be a hard one because of uh, the pandemic and everything. I think the last person we gave it to, if I'm not mistaken, was LaDonna because she persevered. 
through the pandemic LaDonna and LaDonna and, Laura. and uh, who else? Laura. What was LaDonna? LaDonna and someone because through it all, they stayed with us, you know, through the pandemic and kept the choir going and things like that. So, you know, those are the kind of things we'll be looking at, you know. So we'll send out uh, information about each person as we submit the names, you know, why this person, you know, why this organization, you know, like that. Okay. Um, and then what was the other thing with the calendar? So do we want to do calendars, total ambassadors of Indiana? Well, I guess we'd have to because we're basically phasing out the society, right? Yes. So the, but the question would be then was the, would the funding for that come from the total ambassadors. Total ambassadors of Indiana account, right? Right, total ambassadors. Instead of the society. I think so once, once we do, the, once we do the banner, yeah, once we do the banner and tablecloths, we're at Zilch probably. Pretty close to Zilch. Zilch. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they cost. I know. I know. The two thousand dollars you sent them came out of that money too. So that you put into the conference. Yeah. Well, we knew we had about thirty-five hundred million. So, um, so I think we're just kind of looking at okay, this is how much we have. But uh, I think the idea was that once we did the um, the banners and things, that that would be about it. So yeah. Tina has the actual amount, but. Um, yeah. All right. So, anything else? No. All right. So, Other than uh, Mel brought this beautiful Sankofa bird for us to use for our all of our events. It's beautiful. Yeah. I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. One more thing. Um, do the people that are doing the presentation thing? Do we want to like set a time to like meet, or do we want to just like hang out for a couple more minutes? Uh, just next week's gonna come quick. That'll be Savino, Wendy, Nora, Alexis. I'm at your disposal, Alexis. Yeah, just let me know. The sooner the better. Do we just want to like hang out for a couple more minutes and then like make a plan and then we can, yeah, Nora, does that work for you? Cool. Hi, Miss Mira. How are you? Oh, look at her. Mm. Mira. I saw my guy today too. Who's oh, Savi? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Mira's well, three. She's three? Just turned three. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I thought you looked Happy birthday, Mira. Mira. Yeah. Oh, and James has had a birthday, right? Yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so you know what we got to do. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. She hiding her face. Happy birthday to you. 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 My praises <laughs> all go to God. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we'll do a quick closing prayer, and then then uh, the folks can hang out and meet and edge them a cake post. Will you make one of us the host before you uh, ski daddle? Uh, I'll make you the host. I'm actually I'll make. Um, I can make. Okay, I can make you the host. That's fine. Uh, you know, I don't need, I don't need anybody. I just want to make sure that if somebody gets cut <laughs> off that I'm, I'll, I'll make, I'll make several, I'll make everybody a co-host. How about that? Okay. Just in case. Thank you for coming, Father. Okay. okay. Oh, actually, Father Lynn, since you're here, could you do our closing prayer? <coughs> you have a closing prayer you usually do? Or you... Well, we do the total <laughs> prayer, but we've done it already a couple of times today. So maybe you can do something else. Sure. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for bringing us together. We pray for the canonization of Father Tolton. We pray for the health of Francine and for all of us. We pray for protection from the virus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Do, we have, do we have anything else to add? Anybody? Um, I want to pray for all those young babies today at church who was so feisty. That just, that just remind us that uh, life is precious and uh, without them, we wouldn't have a church. Amen. And for the visitors from St. Joe. <laughs> <laughs>
Did they enjoy themselves? <laughs> yeah, the mother was, she was thumping. She was clapping, beating on the side of her leg and everything. <laughs> All right. I love it. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you, Father. <laughs> See y'all. Good All night. Right. All right. All right, Miss Francine. Thank you. Okay, Francine. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Francine. Bye, Francine. Bye. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. Please. Okay. All right, friends. Let's get started. Hello. Hey. Hello. Um, I'm willing to make a presentation. Yay! Um, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> My my life doesn't really, you know, lend itself to a full day Saturday thing, though. So I don't know if I could commit to giving that presentation. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to be honest there. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, the actual presentation. It's well, going to be all day. We got a lot of time. Uh, I don't see a presentation going over 30 minutes at, at max. So, um, I wouldn't mind. I mean, Nora, Wendy, what do you guys think? Um. I mean, I, I don't, I'm sure if there are multiple regions giving presentations, the presentation is not all day. Yeah. Um, somewhere on my computer, I have the uh, actual agenda. Yeah, I know. Deacon said that it was going to be like after lunch, they were going to do it. So I think whoever it could probably just come like after the lunchtime. Right. I, I mean, I had planned on trying to be there all day. Um, but I mean, I thought, I actually thought everybody was going to be there all day. So anyway, yeah. okay, two more, two. Okay. so um, I think you guys were like spot on. There's so much good information that's on the website uh, oh. that we could definitely refer folks to or pull from. Um, I'm just going to review some more information that I have that I think that that, that, that kind of stick out as to why, right? What's the why? Uh, why why would this individual stand out or why, why are we doing this cause compared for him compared to other potential saints, right? Or to be saints. Um, so those are some of the things that I can uh, work on now and I can get you that information or what I, I guess what I feel would be good for it. And I think all of us can kind of give that to uh, Alexis and then we can kind of combine it together, right? Yeah. And then I think, I think one thing that might be good for us to provide in like the packet that we were, that they were talking about is like a printout of like a brochure that people can just like print off and give. And I can make that too. No problem. So when you, when you make the brochure, Alexis, is it going to be Tolton ambassadors of Indiana brochure so that we, so that we can use it ourselves? I was thinking of making it like a Tolton Ambassadors General. General? Yeah, so okay. that we could still use it. We but. can still use it. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And then I would say anything that you want to add to the website or to correct anything that's on there, because I didn't create new content with the, the information that's on there. I just borrowed some from different sites and... um. Some, some of it's a little rough, like it needs to be cleaned up, and I just haven't had a chance to do that. So if there's anything you want me to add or change or whatever, then I'm happy to be that person. I don't think I have the bandwidth right now to be like a creator, though. Like, I just I just wouldn't have time for that part of it or writing it, you know. So if you guys are creating the content, I'm happy to add it in. Because I really feel like a website link, especially for presenting on Zoom, it's probably the easiest way to go. I like your idea, though, of like people can download and print as needed. But I think a, it makes most sense to, to send out a link, probably. What do you guys think? I I agree with you, Nora. So, yeah, definitely.
So Alexis, are you going to do the presentation in the afternoon? Or yes, no. Um, let me check my husband's work schedule because if he can be home and watching our kids, then yes, I can do it. Um, but if I'm alone with two kids, that'll be a little bit harder. I can know by like Wednesday. Okay. I'm in the same boat. Mike's working all weekend and um, it's me with the kids. I, I wouldn't be able to present. I mean, normally that's something I would do, but I, I, I don't want to take that on right now. Sorry. Savino, did you say you thought you would be interested or? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being interested. I was, um, like I said, it wouldn't be the whole day, but I think, uh, you know, I can carve out that spot. And I think that's something that uh, I think, uh, I need to be more active. I think uh, this is uh, a, a nudge uh, that, that I've been expecting and that I need to take on myself. Well, so maybe Alexis, if if you can't, you know, one of the two of you can do it basically. Okay. okay. Cool. And so for the presentation itself, are we just, I like I can make you like slides to go off of? Cool. Cool. Okay. So, does everybody want to like compile what they think would be good or whatever suggestions they have and get it to me like Wednesday and I can get it to you then Thursday, probably. Perfect. Okay. All right. And so if something happens, if something happens that you can't do it, Savino, then I could be your backup. I just. That works. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, so Alexis, when you put the presentation together, you probably want to share it with every mm -hmm. everyone on this group. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So we'll get we'll get you're going to make the presentation. We'll get whatever we think we'd like you to include by Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then okay, all right, okay, all right. Go team education committee. Go team oh, education I'll help you committee. About all of this, Alexis, and we. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. God bless everybody. Thank you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we can. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.